All right, guys. Well, it's been a couple weeks since I put the exhaust on. I'm still loving it. I'm still not having an issue with that uh, uh, actuator binding up. It's it's all going fine. So uh, yeah, now it's time to put the tips on. And uh, popular upgrade: the five-inch direct bolt-on tips. Uh, these are not the name brand ones because they were all sold out. The Corsa and what, the Carbane or something. Um, they also make tips bolt on, uh, but they were all sold out. These were in stock, so I just went ahead and got the no name ones. But it's still stainless under the powder coat from here to the weld. It's stainless, and then it's mild steel, steel from there back, but uh, or aluminized steel. But um, I'm not too worried about it. <clears throat> And I decided to go ahead and get black ones because there's not that much chrome on this truck. Plus, this truck's a dark gray. So, I was kind of tossing back and forth. And the people that I asked said go ahead and get black or get, get uh, smoked chrome, which they don't make smoked chrome for the 4th gen trucks. You can get 5th gen smoked chrome tips, but not for the 4th gen. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, do an exhaust clip with the actuator closed so it's going all out the back. I will do a comparison when we get these on. And these tips come off really easy. I'm wishing I would have uh, got my electric uh, ratchet from work, but there's two of these with a 13, I don't remember off the top of my head, bolt right here. It's through bolt on this clamp. Just loosen it almost all the way up, and then this just kind of wiggles, and then you can just pry it down, and it just pops straight off the ball and socket. And then there's a tack weld right here. You just take this, bend it back and forth, and it comes off. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off. All right, I loosened it up. Pretty much where you can do that with it. It's a 13. Then you just come down here. And it's that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side and be back. All right. I already got one off. I really wish they would give us new clamps. Uh... I think one of the name brands, maybe Corsa or somebody, gives you new clamps. Um, but there's only one of them that does that. But there it is. It takes a slight chunk out of it. But it shouldn't be too much. Too bad. Again, you get it on here. You break it back and forth. Put it back and forth some. Just take it and do this in and out. And then once it gets... Once it gets loose in here, you're going to have to take, you know, hold it open and then bend it down forward over this lip and go back. Because right now, I don't think it's doing. It's staying in the groove. I'm not going to be able to show you this one hand, but push down. Yeah. You see what I'm doing right there? Maybe. And then break it forward, bring it back. Break it forward, bring it back. Forward, bring it back. Break it forward more. Break it back. There it go. There it is. That one broke off. That one broke off better. That one didn't actually damage the clamp because the weld was wasn't as far forward. This one, the weld on this one was farther forward. So there we go. Now all you gotta do is put them on here and put the tips on. But before I do that, I wanna know what it sounds like. I wanna know what it sounds like without any tips.
easy to get on. Just put it around the side. Slip it right on. Now I'm going to keep this how it was where it, toward, where it was towards at the top. And then obviously put the tip up towards the top like that. And I'm not going to go down there and jumble it. But this just slips on the ball, ball and socket joint. Push it on as far as you can. And then just start tightening this clamp down all the while. When it starts getting snug, look out here to the, to the oval and line it up where you want it. All right, again, put the ball on. Make sure it's over. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit down here. Here. I'm going to go out here up front and line it up and then tighten it down. There's the clamp. I think it's on all the way. It's it's tight all the way. I just I think the so I don't know if the socket's on all the way. Here's the tip. Looks lined up to me. I don't know if I'm going to drop it or not. See if I can. I don't know if I'm going to drop it or keep it like that. I think that's straight up and down. So there's one. I'm going to do the other one. And there they are. Fills out that uh, fills out the cutout in the bumper a lot better. A six-inch tip would fill it out more if they made a direct bolt on six-inch, but they don't. If you want if you want a six-inch tip, you gotta you gotta cut up your original tips and weld it on that extension piece. But anyway, that's it for this video. But uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.